You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. The glove box is closed, but appears to be unlocked. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from dad. You take both. The note is from your dad. It reads, Hi, son. Hope you enjoyed your break. You'll need a fi to fire up the generator around back to get the power and lights on. Also found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. You pull up to the driveway of the family home. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Leave car. You open the car door and step out. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Did say it's in the back. You take a walk around to the yard. The yard has, all, has been well maintained. You spend a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. I'll go around. You see a generator on the back of the wall of the house. Go to it. Oh, I'm already standing next to it. <laughs> Turn on generator. You switch the generator on and it works to life. The house is still dark. Mm, enter house. You walk back around to the front of the house. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Enter house. The door appears to be locked. You'll need to use a key. You unlock house. I don't know what you're trying to use. Oh, use key. You enter the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Enter her house. You step inside the front door. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Um, flick light switch. You flick the light switch and the light comes on. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. You walk into the kitchen. The kitchen is tidy and well kept. There's a door to the utility room, but otherwise it's just a kitchen. Hmm. Open utility room. The utility room door is locked. You have no idea where the key could be. Look around. It's very clean and tidy. Not been used in a while. Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Go back. You go back out to the hallway. <laughs> go to living room. You step inside the living room. A spacious and comfortable living room. We spend a lot of good time in here playing board games with the family. Warm and inviting. Look around. There's nothing here of interest, of course. Go back to the hallway. You go back out to the hallway. Go, ups oh. go upstairs. You walk upstairs to the landing. The stairwell landing, there's a bathroom and two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls, images of happy times. Mm, go to your sister's room. You walk into your sister's old. Your sister's room is in perfect condition and touched since the last time you had seen her. Posters of her heroes and some of her own attempts at art adorn the walls. A few shelves are crammed full of trophies. Her bed is drowned under a pile of colorful toys. A real nostalgia trip. Hmm. 
We step back onto the landing. The stairwell landing, there's a bedroom, two bedrooms, your and your sisters. Go to my room. You walk into your old room. Your old bedroom, so many good memories in here, and it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrap box. Go to gift. Um, open gift. You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer at Futuro 128K plus two. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here. And it's been preserved so well. On your desk is a Futuro 128K and a copy of The House Abandoned. It's all still set up. It still needs to be set up, though. Um, um, wait. Use computer. You start plug in the various cables and leads. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There's a game here, too. Play game. You put in the cassette in the computer and press play. <laughs> You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. Open glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from your dad. You take both. Read note. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says, get out, 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 get out. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. Stock neglected. Um. Leave car. You force the wrapped car door open and fall out. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Backyard. You step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown and weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note needing to look around. No, turn on generator. There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. You go back to the front of the house. The house looks abandoned. There's this yacht to the side, wood creaks in the wind. Unlock house. Enter house. Use key. You unlock the door, the click of the lock hurts to hear. Enter house. You reluctantly step pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell. Stale air and damp, this could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hand, you feel compared to read it over and over. Read note. It's dark to read, but it feels weird to the touch. Um, flick light switch. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. The light flickers on and off. The walls are falling apart. After years of neglect, the worse. Ah! Upstairs, the sound of an alarm clock blaring. Someone else is in the house. That can't be. Uh, turn off alarm clock. Somehow the alarm stops. You can't feel. You can feel the panic set in. You are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. 
There's a kitchen and living room adjacent and stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. Can't read the note, it's bleeding. Go to kitchen. You go into the kitchen. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal and there's a carcass on the table. There is writing on the wall and the utility room has a red X painted on it. Um, go to the utility room. The door is locked. I can't get in there. Not yet. Go to... Wait. Go back. You step back to the hallway. Your shoes are wet. You are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There is a kitchen and the living room. Go to the living room. Into the living room. The living room, although hardly an appropriate term, the furniture is dead, bare, and worn. The no is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. The no always changing not reads, get through this. I don't care if you want to or not. The living room. Yeah, come on. Um, go back. You are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel the presence. Mm -hmm. Go upstairs. You head up the stairs. They creak. Same but different. The landing has access to your sister's room. Your room and the bathroom. Pictures are all over the wall, but something's there. Behind the door, the phone starts to ring. You don't understand, neither can he. Um, and hang up phone? Can't hear what they're saying over that ringing. Answer phone. You hear him answer the phone, your mind hurts, and you taste iron. Voices spill out the phone into the room. Whoever isn't there should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do. Whoever you consider the worst. Hang up. Relief. Same but different. The landing has access to your sister's room. Your room in the bathroom. Pictures all over the wall, but something is different about them. Look at pictures. The pictures are of your family. The eyes have been scored on out, out on all. Read a note. The note clean simply says, get in, get out. Same but different. The landing has access to your sister's room. Yeah. yeah. Go to sister's room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Go to my room. The door is bolted shut with a four-digit combination lock. Um, read no one? Damn it. What if... <laughs> go back downstairs. You go back downstairs. You're still in the hallway, the noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Come on. Go to kitchen. Tabletops are rusted metal and there's a carcass on the table and there's writing on the wall. Inspect the carcass. You look closer, but you can't tell what it is or what it was. Um, look around. There seems to be writing on the wall and it's what looks like blood. Read writing. <laughs> In blood, the number 1986 is smeared across the wall. Go back. Step back to the hallway. Your shoes are wet. Now we gotta go upstairs. access to your sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. Pictures are all over the wall, but something is different about them. Alright, well. Go 
go to my room. Though it's bold to shout with the four digit code, yeah. Um, 1986. Um, enter 1986. Damn it. Use lock. You grab the lock. The lock is rusted, not used in years. The key weighs heavy in your hand, the note heavier. You grab the lock, you can now input the code 1986. The lock clicks open. God damn it. Go to my room. The door is closed. Open door. Enter room. Enter my room. You enter your bedroom. The bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you've been here before in front of you. A lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 9999. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. Read note. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haven't every step I take. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but still, you punish me. I can't be with you now. I can be with you now. There is nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. End. You are pathetic, as it was all your fault, say it. What? No. Oh, please stop. No. Say it. Why? Just say it. Why? It was all my fault. Thank you.